Today I'm reviewing the TK801 Android tablet for kids. This tablet comes with a user guide for the tablet itself, and it comes with a family group user manual, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. And also in the box is the user manual for the kiddos program, which is the one that's used to be able to be the parental monitor for the kids so that they do what it is that you want them to do on the tablet rather than a free choice. And it also comes with a charging cable, which is a USB-C charging cable. Let's take a look at the ports and see what's available for use. First, you'll quickly notice that the tablet comes with a case, whether you order the pink or blue one, you'll get that color. And the case is super protective for the tablet. So it goes way above the screen and this thing can be dropped. And hopefully, so far, my fingers are crossed, my daughter has not broken anything. So it has a little kickstand thing, which allows it to just basically stand up like that, which is cool. And on the side here, there is a power button and then the typical volume buttons right there. And there's an auxiliary jack port right over here and then a micro USD card slot right over here. And then here is the USB-C charging port. The back flap that's used to stand the tablet up can be pushed right in like that. And then the tablet can lay flat. Right over here at the top is the front facing camera. And the rear facing camera is right over here and it's well protected. So my child will not break it nor break the screen. Again, fingers crossed on that. These speaker holes are right here and there's cutouts for those as well. Here is the tablet and it actually runs really fast. I've had some kid tablets that are very slow. The kiddos app right over here is the one that can be set up with the parental controls to basically limit them to the environment here and it can be pretty full on for the kids. So the parents can really have control over what their kids do and don't do. So there are some things at the bottom here in the cool stuff tab. And they can just feel safe enough to scroll through. And then there's some simple apps that they can download. There's games available. There's everything. And it's nice because it's sort of pre-censored for the kids. I haven't ultra limited this, but you can even set up time restrictions and length of time restrictions so that the kids are very limited. Another cool feature, and there is a user manual on that as well as the kiddos manual is the family group app and that allows my daughter to be able to FaceTime us or message us and she's only six so isn't very good with the typing but she can FaceTime us as far as Android goes through this. So she can just make a call to whomever just by simply tapping our little faces right there. And I have the same ability on my phone to be able to do that as well, since you link device to the tablet. On the parental end within this app, I can see exactly the time and the times entered the number of times my child enters the various websites. So it's pretty cool, actually. My daughter loves to just call us whenever she feels the need. 
All in all, this is a pretty cool tablet and it hooks up with our network really well. And the speeds on it for doing things are nice. My daughter plays Roblox and has no problems with anything that she does speed wise, graphics wise, anything. It's a very nice HD quality and I gladly recommend it. This is the TK801 Android 10.1 tablet. Really good tool to keep kids on the right track with the internet and super protective case as well. I love it and I would gladly buy another if I needed to do that. Very cool, strongly recommended. Thanks for listening and watching my video.